like it. I don't like that. Right, I'm happy with what's happening here and to be honest I just have to bring this one down a little bit more. So, thank you for voting. really do appreciate the fact that you took your time out to vote which project you wanted me to start and i'm wearing it so this is going to be the first one kind of looking forward to seeing how this works the only issue that i have is with the waistband because as you know i try to make sure that i have the minimum amount of waist possible so this waistband on these pants have to work on this jacket somehow so, um, yeah, that's the only issue that I think I have. I think the pants themselves are fine. The pant leg, I'll be able to get as much ruffle in order to create the ruffle effect around this part of the jacket. Definitely the sleeves, and if I can get some into the shoulder area, then I will do. But I definitely think the, the waistband will be the biggest issue. But let's get started on this project. First of all, I need to the waistband off and then play around with it and then cut the fabric cut the strips well they are fabric in a way if you think of it in those terms and cut the legs into strips in order to do the ruffles somewhere around the sleeves even maybe up into the shoulders as well that's nice as well oh that's gorgeous that's nice See, if I had it like this, and then I had the waistband as part of it, as you can see, it's a different look altogether, isn't it? So this would probably work, actually. Yeah. I think I will definitely be going with this idea. It's, this is the way I will wear it. Whether the waistband works with it or not, this is the way I will definitely wear it. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So the pants, they're sitting really low, they're a large, they're, they're big for me. And um, there's a good amount of length in there, in the legs, but yeah, this has to be part of this somehow. So let's get cutting and seam ripping and whatever else <laughs> I need to do in order to make this jacket look amazing. Okay, let's get started. So like I said earlier, I want to save this waistband. There's no pockets in these pants. And okay, so I can't click too close to the seam here. Plus I need some to turn under. So I need some seam allowance and some to turn a facing. So this as per usual, we're going to be using a seam ripper and scissors. Out there, I think. So I think the width of this belt is going to be that wide. So I need a facing behind it as well because it's tucked, it's back stitched here and here. So. So we're thinking about here actually so I'm going to put a pin here and that's going to represent somewhere at the same level as the zip that's going to represent the cutting line which I'm going to cut all the way around so these pants have been hemmed hand hemmed oh it's quite a good job actually so I just need to let those down and give that a good press get my tape measure so I can get it roughly even in that line there eight can I get these as flat as possible
and then it's a case of getting the seam ripper and separating these legs ready to make them into ruffles for the sleeve that's the thing when you are refashioning the seam ripper becomes your best friend <laughs> So any techniques that I use in this video, I will link those in the description. So whatever you think you need to have more practice on, just click on those links and it'll take you to um, a video that was totally step by step in order for you to have an amazing looking refashioned garment. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm all about inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas to upcycle fashion. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm also on the Patreon platform, which is a membership. I have different levels. There's three different levels that you can join. Just choose one and I make sure that you will have an amazing time. Each one has different perks within that level. So if you are wanting to get a little bit more interactive and, oh, and personal with me then that is definitely where you will find me. Let's get back to the video. So pants legs have been separated. I'm now just removing the hand stitching and then I'm going to lengthen this out and then press and that will give me a lot more length to creating these ruffles. I have pressed the hem so that I don't have a seam running through there. And what I also did was I folded it in half in order to cut straight down. So I've decided that I'm going to have the seams of the pants as the seam for the ruffle. I mean the choice is yours because you could actually use each pant leg in order to create the ruffle so just you know unpick one stitch the seam lines but I want the seams to be in this so that it's just me it's just the way my mind thinks um, I just think I want this to be Part of it but it's all about personal choice you can remove it and just use the body of the legs obviously one leg will be a little bit slightly bigger than the other you know the front will be slightly smaller than the back um, and that can vary as well so it really does depend on the style of pants that you have so I'm just going to cut it in half and then this is going to be a ruffle so I've got the seam that will be part of the ruffle, the top of the ruffle. And like I said, um, it could be ruffling that way. So that will be the ruffle and then there's no seam at the top. So it's choice, it's your personal choice. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. That's nice and flat. Actually, I think I'll cut it this way. Yeah, it's going to be looking okay actually. Um, let me see. So I will just cut along here and then repeat it onto the other side. I think there's a big difference there, but it doesn't matter because it's all about minimum amount of waste. That's fine. I'll just repeat it on the other one. 
and then I'll be ready to insert them into the jacket. This seam here. Oh, that's going to look gorgeous. Yeah, I think that's going to look amazing. And then I could have the other one on the underarm seam. But I'm going to try with the the back seam to begin with first. See what that looks like. I'm oh, quite excited about this now. Yeah. And just leave that as is. I think. Yeah, just see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to go to a sewing machine, turn it this way. No, I won't, I won't actually. I'll keep it this way. Yeah, just do a row of gathering stitch. So if you don't know how to gather, I do have a video tutorial in order to help you with that. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to put some gathering stitches. So I'll just turn this raw edge in on itself, give it a press. So it will be like this when I come to gather. That is going to look gorgeous. Okay, that's what I'm going to do next. I am now ready to insert the ruffle into the back side seam. So I need to unpick the stitching. So I'm going to stop about there. I think it will be a good amount to stop. And let's see. Oh, there. I don't want to take it all the way there because we are turning this inside out and I want to make sure that, you know, the stitching doesn't unravel. So I wouldn't really take it up to this point. It's not impossible, it can be done, but I just want to take it to about here. And same with the button on the sleeves here to about here. And that should be okay. I'll just put a little tacks in that. So when I turn it to the right side, I'll know whereabouts I need to stop. Yes. So I need to turn it to the wrong side. usually find that the seam to jacket is always in the sleeve where it's been closed off once it's been bagged out. There we go. There it is. So I have to unravel that first. Where is my seam ripper? So remove the stitching from Okay, that's not open. I'm going to put the jack pull the jacket to the wrong side. This is where it looks a little bit scary, especially if you're tackling this for the first time as well. See the inner workings of a jacket.
cooking and then it will eventually reveal itself. There we are. I'll do the side workings of a jacket. This is a section which is a lining and this is the back of the jacket. So it's the sleeve, isn't it, that we marked. Yes, it's this one. Should I put the marker in? And the other marker. So I'm going to just get my seam ripper and insert into the seam like so. Is it Okay, there we are. Yeah. I'm excited already <laughs> I've been started. Oh my goodness. So we're going to insert that into the sleeve. So it's going to be raw edges touching. Oh, so excited already. <laughs> I don't even know it's going to work. Oh my goodness. Right, get the pins in. Line up all the raw edges. I hope it does work. So I'm going to baste it before I take it to the sewing machine and sew it down just to make sure. Not that I've got another option <laughs> in mind. So I'm all pinned, all pinned into position. Now all I need to do is start the basting process. Just got my needle and thread. And there's a lot of bulk to go, for needles to go through as well. So it'll be a case of just taking your time. I could probably use my thimble. It is all basted. I can't wait to try it on. There's a lot of bulk there though. Hopefully it won't take up too much room within the sleeve. Let's turn this to the right side and let's have let's find let's find the opening. Where's the opening again? There we go, the opening's there. Pull it through to the wrong the right side and let's have a try on. See how it looks. Okay, let's try this on. Right, I'm going to try this on for you. Okay. Um, I like it. I do like it. I think there's a 
couple of issues. I think this section here, I don't know, I do it, but I like it. Uh, I'm not sure whether I should have that go into the sleeve section there, perhaps, or just leave it as it is. This one here, let me just unbutton it. That's okay. I mean, I'll slip stitch that closed. But no, I, I like it. Um, Really see, you don't, you don't really see that much when from the front, it's all so. Yeah, I'm going to put the, the other one on the inside seam here. I'll probably end up like this, <laughs> but no, I like that. That is nice. I like what it's doing, even here, even though this is this is section I'm not too sure about whether I should actually include it into the sleeve. But I do like it. Oh, it looks I can't walk around like that, can I? <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> that really looks good. I like that. But when I put my arms down, it looks a little bit untidy. Um, but I like that. that that's nice. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. But it's going to do that, isn't it? Oh, no, I like it. Hmm, yes, it's nice. Okay, so I'm going to insert the other one. Um, and with the other one, I'm going to put this section into the sleeve and see which one I would prefer. Because I do like it like that. Oh, it's with my arm like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, it may stay. Okay, I'm going to put the other one in and then let's take it from there. If I did the other ruffle, it looks nice, doesn't it? Um, I try to put this extra bit into this section here. It was just too much, it was just too bulky and you know, I don't want the sleeves to be too tight so it is going to have to stay like that and I'm just going to have to walk around like this because <laughs> I just love the way it falls that way but this falls nice though now that I've brought it down a bit more so it's coming to where the buttons are I may even take it a little bit more here and then as I drop my arm it's okay I like it and that's doing what it needs to do <laughs> It's done like this, it's really gorgeous. But when I'm face on, you don't really see it that much. But it's gorgeous! <laughs> but <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like that. Right, I'm happy with what's happening here and the other sleeve. I just have to bring this one down a little bit more. Um, I'm happy with that. I'm, yeah, I could definitely wear this jacket every single day for <laughs> the next 20 years. Um, but this is not, I do like the fact that it's there. It just isn't falling right. And obviously I don't want to, because you know, that would restrict me, wouldn't it? So, it has to be part of this jacket because as you know I am on a mission to make sure I have as little waste as possible so what can we do here because it's pretty side on oh. right There, by the way, that falls, that's fine. One way it wants to, it's almost happy with that one as well. Yeah, I like that. I think it's going to be a case of. Oh, that's looking nice. 
I'll just tack there to keep those two together. That'll be nice. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. That is nice. Yeah, it's different. I may even bring this up further up here, actually. Maybe not because you don't. I, I want to make sure that it feels comfortable under the arm. So no, I think it's 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 in the best position there, and just get those touching and tap those together. Oh, that is good. I'm loving that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's it. I've got it. Yes, that's fine. Now let me just shake my arms. Yeah. Okay. So now you see, because these are the spaced it in. I just need to machine sew them down, it's just a straight stitch and then they will be done and then I can focus on the waistband and incorporating that into this jacket. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I am loving it. It's so gorgeous. This is the stage that I'm at now where I'm sewing the ruffles into the seams of the sleeve. Um, I had to open up both sleeve linings because it's it was really getting thick to pull this through one sleeve, the whole jacket. So this is another method you can do. It's exactly the same as the first one where I just unpicked the stitching on this sleeve and it's exactly the same process. So it just enables me to get easy access to this rather than pulling the whole jacket to the wrong side. So um, it's getting really late now, so I'm gonna finish this off tomorrow. What I'm gonna do tonight though, I'm going to see, um, do I need to do any hand stitching on this? I just have to take out all the basting stitch and um, the uh, gathering stitch as well. And that's it really. And then so, yes, so the lining up, and that's it. So like I said, I'll be back tomorrow so we can focus on the waistband incorporating that into the jacket. Okay, day two of this project. It's coming along okay. Um, no, it's fine. It's, it is what it is because remember it's refashioning. So aesthetics, when you're refashioning a garment, the aesthetics of what we're used to seeing in a garment kind of goes out the window and we have to enjoy a new type of aesthetic and I think that's always been the case with all the projects that I've done previously and this one has been a little bit or a little bit more of a challenge to get the aesthetic looking the way I want it to look with the limitations that are part of the project when you're taking garments apart and you're only can work a certain way but you want to push and make sure that you're challenging yourself because you're of your creative mind but also challenging the process and not um let's say breaking the rules so, so to speak i think would be the best way to describe it so you're pushing the branches as far as i possibly can and what i'm really talking about here is about the grain line so as you can see, I've got the jacket on now and the sleeves are looking differently. I'm not going to show you that in a moment, the full effect of this jacket. And it's all about grain lines. The foundations to any garment to look amazing is always about the grain lines. And as you, as you may or may not be aware, there are three different types of grain lines. I'll put a link to a video tutorial that I have about my grain lines in the description below. So please do check that out. Um, so yeah, it's a case of getting you used to a new aesthetic. So I'm going to show you this new aesthetic that I'm trying to achieve with this jacket. But yeah, I'm slowly, I'm 
I'm falling in love with this jacket. I really am. The challenge is going to be when it comes to the waistband because as you, I need to stop saying it as you know. Anyway, the waistband is also yet to be part of this creation of mine. So let's go and see what this looks like and I'll show you the issues and what I'm happy with and what I'm not so happy with and then we'll work on the waistband being part of this jacket. Okay, let's get going. So here we have it. Two different styles of sleeves. <laughs> Fly away. Um, I am happy with this. I am happy with the fact that I've got this drill or rough detail that's happening within the seams of the sleeves. But as I was talking about before, the aesthetics to it is not quite there. And if, if these were cut, if these were cut on the bias, so on point. So this side is better. As through the eyes of a refashioned aesthetic. Yeah. And that's the best that I can do. So, and it feels comfortable. This actually feels a lot more comfortable than this one because I still got all this here. And so in order to get that comfortability factor into a garment, so it feels comfortable when you wear it, then this has to be the result. Yeah, you can see it's just too much there again. And there isn't that much there and yeah you can see the difference can't you yeah I do like it I just wish there's a bit more of a wave up here I think and there and I think that would be so on point I think the aesthetic wouldn't be an issue whether you're refashioning or doing this from scratch well it hangs it frames the sleeve beautifully side view I think the side view is if I'm being honest, more pleasing perhaps than the side view. But no, that's that's the new beauty of good fashioning. So I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, so now I need to do the same to this sleeve that I've done here. Take this out and then it's just going to be a tack that's going to be put on that position. So hand sewing there and obviously, well not obviously, but it could be asymmetrical but I'm not going to go there <laughs> um, and then do the same on that sleeve and then it's focusing on getting the belt on here so it's going to be a really fussy jacket which is going to be good it really is going to be good yeah I like it okay so let me do the same to that sleeve that's done to this sleeve and then I'll come back and show you the belt and how that is going to be part of this some way or another. Oh, yes. Yeah, that still feels a lot more comfortable. This doesn't quite feel as comfortable. So yeah, it has to be that one, even if I wanted it to be that one. The waistband is the next thing. It's a cute waistband. It is a cute waistband. The waistband is the next thing. And it is a cute waistband. Um, yeah, there's a zipper. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. You can keep that on. You can remove that before you actually call. That's, that choice is up to you. But I've got lots of zips. So. And plus, I, I want this to be part of the feature on the jacket as well so right so it's tap there so I can't really take it any further than there um so am I going to roll it fold it a couple of times right that. Let's see what that looks like on the other side. Okay, it's got a bit of body to it, which is good. It's not a bad thing. 
to put anything away. It just means, yes, hand sewing. Yes, I'm going to hand sew that. Yeah. If you wanted to, it depends on what kind of waistband you have. You can always use a sewing machine. But you know I'm a fan of hand sewing, don't you? Okay. So I'm going to baste that and play around with that. I'm going to baste that and then put it onto the jacket. And let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm just going to baste. So I have basted. Just need to hand sew that, which I'll do later. Oh, by the way, before I continue, um, if you're enjoying the video so far, please give it a thumbs up and please do leave a comment and do subscribe. It really will help my channel to grow. So yeah, it's been a lot of two days. Um, oh, I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's go ahead because it is what it is so like i said earlier in the video i'm sure i said i was going to wear the jacket like this with the collar up i have steamed it a bit it's going to need a bit more steaming so it stays in place and this will help if it looks right so i've got a mirror in here so do 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 excuse me while i look in the mirror to make sure that things line correctly and then I want to put this cross body somehow. Mm. That's nice. That's nice actually, you know. the jacket to be you know a jacket that's got a lot of detail and attention it's like it's it's too much but the too much is just right that's what i'm trying to achieve um but that's nice that's that's nice i like that i mean if you don't have like i've got this interesting button detail and flaps to the front and also towards the back and I like that I don't want to interfere with that I think it's just right but if you don't then and you have a waistband that has got a lot of detail to it like mine that could be an option to sew that into place so that's a nice option you've got something similar that's nice yeah that's two those two options are nice so far yeah, that's nice. Let me just turn around, shave it back. Yeah. And then what I was thinking more was in my mind, crossbody. Okay. Right, so I'm going to put a press stud here. Oh, that's looking nice. Oh, I'm liking this. One minute. So like I said, I'm going to put a press stud here, maybe a couple of press studs, or the invisible snaps, it's also referred to as. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, that's, that sits beautifully on the collar, on the shoulder, doesn't it? Where's the other, where's the other section? There. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. That is nice. That is gorgeous. Oh gosh, yes. Yeah. Three three options I've got. Well really two because I, I wasn't I wouldn't do the the waist one. But 
that is nice. I like that. Oh, yeah, and that sits beautifully on the shoulder. Oh, yeah. And I like what's happening here as well. This is where the zip is. So it's creating this kind of shape. The same is happening here as well. Ooh, that is gorgeous. I will be wearing this every day for the rest of this month. Every day. <gasps> it's gorgeous. I love it. So really what I need to do then, once I've finished base um, hand sewing this section, then it will be a case of just hand sewing the shoulder and that will be flat and that will be I won't, even, I won't even sew that under the underarm. I'll only hand sew that section. And then, this is how I'll fasten it. What do I should put on? What do you think? See, that should be there. That's so cute there. So I need to create some kind of a loop, a little loop here. I'll go there. I like that. I do. Oh, on these sleeves. I am, I am so excited. This is, this is, it's not what I imagined it would be. I don't know. Do you think I should put a buckle on the sleeve like that? Let me, let me go and get a buckle. Just bear with me. One moment. I do have a section for Let me just go and get one. I managed to find this one. Which is a good colour. It's taken from the stripes that is in this top. That's really nice. But it's got a little tongue there. Let's see if this will work. It looks big. Oh, I like that as well. I like that. Now I've got to make up my mind now. But I want that to stay. And get rid of that. at the right point. Um, I don't know. I think it's, I can, if I feel as though I wanted to, I can always put this on. I wouldn't, it wouldn't be a permanent fixture. So I just need to, there's a buttonhole here which is great, so that means I can put a button on this side and button it there like so, and then I can always slide this up and on if I wanted to, so I'm giving myself a choice there. Yes, that's the best thing to do. Oh, what am I wrong with it? And these sleeves. <laughs> I am so excited now. Yeah, so what's going to happen now is that I just need to do two lots of hand sewing where the basin is. Need to hand sew. I'm gonna to hand sew this at the shoulder, and then this will just be left loose like so. So I can always spin it round, and I've got an option of putting a buckle on or not. And then I need to make sure the fasten's in place. So there's a buttonhole here, so I'm gonna put a clear button there, and then that can stay in place once that is buttoned. And then that will be in place like so. That is gorgeous. And these sleeves. The sleeves. And I'm coming to the end of the video. I'm going to tease you. 
because I will be starting this um, in my outfits of the week. So if you're not a person who watches my outfits of the week, you should do. Seriously, you should. Um, but I'm also thinking as an, as an admiring myself in the mirror, like, uh, I could do with a hat. Because there's almost a military feel to this. And I used to wear hats a lot, a lot when I was younger. Um, I had a bowl hat at one point as well. Um, yeah, I think it's only a, some kind of a hat. If you've got any suggestions of hat, let me know in the comments. <laughs> and also, if this jacket has inspired you to create something similar, please let me know in the comments also. And yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I've got some hand sewing to do. It's getting a bit later on in the day. And I'm just going to continue admiring myself in the mirror once I've said goodbye. Anyway, anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a thumbs up. Do share, do like, and also my Patreon. If you want me to be more involved in your projects, helping you find ways in which to refashion garments, come up with ideas for your wardrobe, then my Patreon platform is where you'll find me. So I'm going to leave a link below. So do click on it and check out the different levels there. And yeah, I will definitely see you in my next video. I think the next one that is coming up, I think is going to be the sleeves. I think it's what you voted as the second one. So yeah, I'll definitely see you next time. So excuse me while I'm finishing marrying myself. Yes, this is gorgeous.